Now then, what are the symptoms when tamas vibhurdhe sati? When tamas predominates in your personality, hey, Kuru Nandana, son of the Kurus, Kuru family, please understand what are the symptoms? Aprakash dalde. Did you hear that? Uh, did you see that? What? No light in anything. You can't see or hear or smell or taste or touch. As though you are deaf and dumb and dull. Aprakasha, apravartischa. And uh, so, why don't you do this? Call uh, tomorrow. I'll do it. Certainly, I will do it. Now you go. Why? Let me rest a little. When are you going to do? Tomorrow. Sure. Sure. And the sun goes down and the sun comes up and the next day comes up. And uh, you again go to him. And what about that? I told you. Already I told you. Tomorrow. It's an eternal tomorrow. Nothing today. Apravartisya. No activities. Idleness. Pramado, heedlessness, moha, delusion. These are what comes. Unthinking, you act heedless. Delusions, you see, because of the agita agitations of the mind, and then the delusions. You recognize the non, I mean, the mis no, misapprehensions as real. I think today I am not well. My blood pressure, I think, is high. My blood pressure, low. I think my heart is not working. There are missing beats now. So let me rest today. Illusion. I think I have got a stomach pain. I think I have got a stomach pain. You stop thinking, and now have you got pain? Uh, I think I have. I'm not well, Swami. I don't know what exactly my trouble, I don't know, but I am not well. I am feeling fatigued. The latest disease is that. Feeling fatigued. No interest in activity. Thomas has come to you. When the mind is in the slipping into tamas, all these symptoms come. These are the symptoms when tamas predominate.